Hi, my name is Fabian Minima. Uh, my name is Jillian Snyder. My name is Ian Dixon. I'm a musician from Saskatoon. I uh, am a professional musician and a bartender. I am one of the judges of this year's Canadian Tire Search for the Stars competition. It never fails to surprise me the talent, the level of talent that Prince Albert and area uh, brings out when these competitions come together. There's so many talented young people, singers and artists and creative minded people that come out. It's kind of strange how it's so concentrated in this area of the province. Well, I've had the privilege of, of being involved in different capacities for uh, a few years with this competition and it's pretty uh, amazing to be able to sit on this side of the table and be a judge for the competition um, and watch the improvement already just over a few days of, of watching these, these young performers come from uh, audition day to, uh, to our workshop day that was, that was very successful and uh, I learned a lot from them as well and it got me very excited to see uh, them on stage and, and, and see what they're, what they're going to give to all of us. Well, my initial impression is, is how talented they are. <laughs> um, I was a very late bloomer in the music business and I see these kids come up and just the fact that they're on the stage and they're performing shows an incredible amount of uh, self-awareness, confidence, and they know exactly what they want to share. And it, it really exudes that they, they kind of know who they are. Well, it would be so very hard to actually pick a, a winner out of this group because I think that they've just the level of commitment and confidence needed to get into this uh, competition to begin with is so hard to pick just one person. Um, they're all so very, very talented, but it's been such a nice experience just getting to know some of these, uh, these young people and, and giving them the advice that I wish maybe I'd had 20 or 30 years ago and hopefully they can carry over with that stuff and, and move along in their careers. I do feel that this is a very important program. Uh, I am from this community uh, and there weren't a lot of things like this when I was growing up to get involved with. Uh, I was fortunate enough to find a few things kind of in my later teen years, but to see some of these kids that are in their young teens, and they've been doing this for 10 years or more already, some of them, it's pretty remarkable. And, uh, and to see how many talented kids we had come out uh, to auditions and how many have made it through and how many you're about to see on stage here, it's, uh, it's pretty, it's pretty mind boggling. Um, and I feel that it's been really good working with them because although you know I'm trying to give them sort of little pointers on how to not be afraid and little pointers about you know being in the music industry for as long as I've been in the music industry but then I'm learning a lot from them as well <laughs> and the level of confidence in some is just like oh my god can I just have a little bit of what you've got <laughs> The, the, the ability and the opportunity to perform for any performer at any age, at, at, in any stage of their career is, uh, is paramount. It needs to happen and, and these are the perfect basis for not only the performance angle, but for these young people to make connections in their peer group uh, with the other competitors to learn how to co-write and to, and to coexist as artists in the same area and the same community. It's a very positive environment. It gives you that initial uh, motivation to say, I want to share what I have. And so it provides a, a platform for that. And they can come in and, and share it. And also they learn from each other. They watch other performances. Sometimes they can see, oh, maybe I might try that. Or uh, they see also how eclectic everybody is because everybody has something different to share. And it's, it's really extraordinarily wonderful. And it should be in every city and town. <laughs>